Ducks, it's Simon here. Welcome back to the Hermit's Cave. So, um, I want to share this little oracle deck that um, I first became aware of over on Kasha's channel, Tarot Map, and it, it's got to be a good six months ago now uh, when she first showed these cards. And I immediately fell in love with the images and made a note to uh, look into them and then promptly forgot. And then about a week ago, Nina over at Shuffle Tarot also showed these cards. And I was like, yes, that's that deck that I uh, I meant to get. Had a look online and the creator is UK based. I ordered these on the 23rd as a Christmas present. I usually every year buy an Oracle deck and a Tarot deck. My Tarot deck was from overseas, so it hasn't arrived yet. Um, but this arrived the very next day um, on Christmas Eve, so I was absolutely thrilled. Um, you get some beautiful art cards in there as well, as well as Trisha Murray's uh, business card. And she writes on it, thank you, shining brightly, Trisha. And if you want to check out Trisha, it's Trisha dot uh, a wee star at gmail.com that's the email address sorry um but i'll also put information below to the etsy shop so this the forest of precious twigs is the second oracle um deck created by trisha murray the first one was called uh the we star oracle and reading some reviews and things i think what i can gather is this although the art is very similar because it's the same artist and the same concept with messages on the back. I think this one is um, a little bit a little bit darker. And I don't know if that was consciously done because the box is black, whereas in the first one, the box is, is white. Um, but yeah, this is Forest of Precious Twigs, where we meet. And looking at the um, Kickstarter campaign, just reading through this, it says, the Forest of Precious Twigs, where we meet, is an original hand-drawn oracle deck and trisha writes i am hoping to raise funds to print this first edition which she did because they're now available on etsy shop her etsy shop uh, of my second oracle deck forest of precious twigs where we meet an oracle deck created using the art made on a new chapter of a personal journey to reclaim self learning to be enough find and explore my edges and to embrace the work of being present in this world. I love that. Each card is a visual result of my processing of a point of intensity upon that journey. The images have been brought together to form a unique source of guidance, inspiration and support for anyone on the journey to reclaim that which lies deep within. Wow. So, let's have a look so as i said this is the business card we have this white uh white heart i think it's a white heart little thank you card and then these are some of the additional uh art cards that are included or which was put in i don't know if you get the same ones every time or these are the three that i got and this is um card number 23 10 and number 12 so it comes in a two-part box i wish i do wish there was some um cut out bits that would just make it easier to take them apart but it's a nice sturdy sturdy box we don't have a book, but we do have some um, cards here. So this is the title card. And on the back it says, We stand together, but not apart. We are complete where we meet, adding to and making more. And that's kind of the concept of the deck. 
Then we have um, some explanation cards. So um, I probably need a magnifier. I do have new glasses on order. <laughs> um, the Forest of Precious Twigs Oracle is the next chapter of my healing journey. It is where I allowed myself to connect, explore and process the emotions that arose within me during um, an intense cycle of life. Wow. A place that challenged me, challenged me to meet more of myself, to find and explore my edges and to embrace the work of being present in this world. Gifting me the opportunity to learn how to be enough, to feel complete where we meet, to add and to make more. Um, so yeah, there are four, four suits, as you can probably see here, just listed here. The images have been kept in the order of my experience and are, divide, sorry, and are divided into four suits that hold the energy of their place in the cycle of things. So we have immersion, awareness, movement and growth. The Forest of Precious Twigs is the sister deck to a wee star oracle. It is the next step through. So maybe I should have got the wee star oracle first, but um, <laughs> there was just something about these images that really spoke to me. Um, how to use the Forest of Precious Twigs. And she says there are many ways you can use the Forest of Precious Twigs oracle deck. There are no right or wrong ways here. You are the oracle. I love that because we are the oracle. We have some spreads. We have a four card spread and a nine card spread. So that's quite handy. So yeah, nice little information cards. And the reason why we don't really need a guidebook is because with these cards on the reverse, you get the text and these are written beautifully. It's like poetry. Um, so I'm not now they're not going to be in order because we've getting these on Christmas Eve. I was with my family and my sister was very intrigued by them and she was like, Oh, can you can you pull a card for me? And then my mum was like, Oh, pull a card for me too. So they have been shuffled and used. But you'll see at the bottom of each one there is one of the four suits. So we have immersion. Uh, 19, 1, 29. Maybe I did put them back. So that's immersion. Maybe I did put them back. Growth. Movement. And then we have the awareness cards. But the numbers, they're not, you know, like 1 to 10 of immersion and then... 11 to 20 is growth. Um, the numbers don't, don't go like that. They go through each of them. But these are the four, um, the four suits. So let's have a look at some of these beautiful, beautiful images. I'll bring it up a little bit closer so you can see. And I won't read the back of every, every single one because that would be like reading you know, the whole guidebook. Um, but, you know, just on a few, I'll stop. When I am everywhere else but here, outside looking in, I'm sure we've all felt like, like that from time to time. I love this card. It's absolutely beautiful. The images are very evocative. Purposely so. They're up to their knees in water, look, and then there's this kind of like a shadowy umbrella protecting them, but the water's still rising. When I find my sulky skin, do not be afraid. As I transform, do not cage me or make me ashamed. Allow me to look within myself for all that I have forgotten. All that I fear is lost, for what is found is also a gift for you. Wow. I 
And that's an elephant lot. I didn't notice that straight away. But again, if you really sit with these cards and see the images, there's like a, a fish here as well. It's really beautiful. Lovely that just occasionally there's this splash of colour. What does it say here? I dance with the joyous spirit of life as I remember who I am. Look at this. See this person laying here? I close my eyes and travel inward, allowing myself to go so completely in the knowing that you are at my side. I am as present in your eyes as you are in mine. These will be beautiful, beautiful images to sit and meditate with. That's an interesting image. This is one of the art cards that, that I got. When gathering sticks is my divine purpose. It's beautiful. This is the key that at uh, the key, the card that I pulled for my sister. There's a key in the mouth, and the lock is just between the, the shoulder blades. I sit quietly in the pale light of the misty forest as the cold air gently soothes my bruised skin. I alone hold the key to myself. I alone can find my way in. Isn't that beautiful? Such beautiful artwork. We stand together but not apart. We are complete where we meet, adding to and making more. I think this was the image that actually sold it to me. There's something about this that really appealed. This shadowy figure, you can even see the facial, the facial features. And then under the land, almost like a carpet peering out. Let's see what this one says. As I lie here, quiet and still, pinned under the weight of being, hiding from the world, I hear your boots walking over my head, all puffed up and separated, your heart shield made of lead, but still I see you, a small child trying so hard to control the world in your attempt to feel safe. You really do have to sit with ease. So there we have it. I've put these or half of them around the wrong way. Um, 
The Forest of Precious Twigs by Trisha Murray. Um, absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous images. Very powerful images, very thought provoking, very evocative. And I love decks that do that. You've heard me say that before with, you know, uh, Deviant Moon and Soul Cards. and Those that have images that really uh, stir something up inside that you can sit with and contemplate and figure out why they have the effect on you that they do. Um, so, yeah, I'm so glad to have got them. Let me know your thoughts. Do you have this deck or, or any of the other works by Trisha Murray? If so, let me know how you get on with them, how you enjoy working with them. There are some beautiful, beautiful image uh, images in this in this deck. So let's pop that little card inside as well. So yeah, thank you for watching, guys. Um, I'll be back. I've still got a couple of more decks to do walkthroughs of. I also need to do my year ahead card. <laughs> I've got quite a few bits and bobs to do, but I'll get round uh, to it. So, yeah, thank you for being here. Thank you for your time. And until next time, go in peace. Namaste and blessed be.